Mojang is going to shut down Minecraft Java Edition. Eventually. Hopefully that got your attention because while this is not something that anyone at Mojang has officially or even unofficially said, based on some actions they have been taking, it is my opinion that Java Edition's days are numbered. And I think I know exactly why and how this will end up happening. Firstly, it won't happen in one big bang. You won't wake up one morning to a Twitter post from King B-Dogs or an alert from Mojang saying that Java has been canceled. No, rather it is something that is going to happen slowly over time. And it won't actually be Mojang shutting down Java. It will actually be all of you that are watching this video right now. You see, Java Edition right now is ultra popular on two fronts. On the creator side, it has all the tools the creator needs to really make great content. Tools like World Edit allow both creators and players alike to plan huge builds and bases with relative ease, then if they want to, use a mod like Lightmatica to give them a semi-transparent overlay of the build in their world so they can more easily build it in survival. Then you have Replay Mod, which is arguably the content creator and viewer's best friend, allowing creators to record everything that happens in the world in real time to then easily go back and capture the best camera angles of them or their builds for increased dramatic and cinematic effect for you, the viewer, to enjoy. When you get to the player side, and yes, for the creators too, you guys love mods. I'm not a big modded guy myself, but I've seen everything from simple ones like Skyblock to adventurous mods like Vault Hunters to really crazy technical mods like the Create Mod. And honestly, they all look incredibly cool and fun. They make for good content for creators and a good break from normal vanilla gameplay for the everyday creator. I could and should also mention parity differences between the two versions as well, as technically there are over 1,000 of them. But if you've been paying attention to the Bedrock Edition change logs or videos from creators like Waddles or Echo Soldier, you would see that Mojang has been making some pretty big moves with parity changes on Bedrock every month or two, and there's no sign of them slowing down. So we have creator and player tools, content mods, and parity. So why in the heck would Java Edition get canceled, Prowl? You've only told me every reason there is to why Java is here to stay. Hear me out. Java Edition won't get a fast death. No, it will instead go through a slow death, one that the player and creator base will cause. We already established the parity is changing at a fast pace. It's reasonable to assume that within the next couple of years, there may be little to no parity differences left. Sure, you may still have a couple larger controversial ones, F3 debug screen, nether roof building, quasi connectivity to name a few, but Mojang can get around most of this with some simple world options and on off toggle switches. Problem solved. Then what are we left with when it comes to the vanilla game? Well, Bedrock Edition performs better. You can run much higher render distances on it. It can play on a wider age range and array of devices, and it doesn't need 20 plus different mods to do it. You also have something like RTX mode built in by default, enhancing the vanilla experience for those who have the hardware to take advantage of it. Next, the creator. Well, Mojang is currently in the process of solving this problem as we speak. In the latest preview, they added their own version of World Edit called the Minecraft Editor, which not only has some amazing UI visuals and ease of use, and it will likely continue to get upgraded and overhauled on Mojang's side, but also they have built it with the intent to work along with the modding API and allow add-on creators to be able to modify pretty much anything about it, which in the end will result in a Minecraft Editor with some community support that is more preferable to players than World Edit. Even bigger for the creator is replay capabilities. This has been confirmed by Mojang to be a target, coming directly from Kayla, a Mojang developer, stating, I can't wait to see the community make replay in Bedrock. Then referencing a couple additional features needing to be added to the modding API first. And another developer stating they are interested to see if the community makes it first or if Mojang does. So if the editor and known features of the API are any hint, not only will replay be in Bedrock, but it'll likely be incredibly easy to use and unlike Replay for Java, of which there is only one, add-on creators would be able to make their own iteration of Replay, which will lead to many great options with many different features for Bedrock content creators. Replay on Bedrock will be the preferred Replay of choice when compared to Java when that happens. This leaves us with one thing, modding. And while I doubt Bedrock with its modding API ends up getting 100% to where Java is with modding and its capabilities, it's likely to get 90% of the way there, only lacking the capability to do what some of the most insane Java mods do that change Minecraft to the point where it doesn't even look or feel like Minecraft anymore. When Bedrock developers accomplish this, and Bedrock creators start making mods with real depth of features and gameplay, Java is in for real trouble. This leads me to my final point, how will it happen? 
Well, with everything we just talked about, what you'll likely have happen over the course of the next several years is less growth for the Java player base, as Bedrock players will have less reason to switch over, and there are already around four to five times more Bedrock players than Java as it is. From there, you will start to have some Bedrock content creators grow their following more due to access to better tools. You'll have some Java creators start to consider trying Bedrock content out and liking it. And from that point, it's only a matter of time that enough Java content creators and players switch over to Bedrock on their own, that Mojang will be able to finally officially make the announcement they will no longer be updating Java Edition with any new content and will only support it moving forward for bugs and issues that it may have. For my Java peeps out there, don't worry though, most of you will have already moved on to Bedrock by your own decision at that point. And those of you that haven't, you'll likely have modders that will be able to one for one recreate the official Minecraft content updates for you. So outside of having to wait a little for those mods to release, you'll likely still be able to keep playing new content on Java Edition. It just won't be made by Mojang at that point. So what do you think? Will Java end this way or will Java be around forever? Share your opinions down in the comments section below and make sure to subscribe to the channel.